Hey everyone, and welcome to our webinar on stainless steel PEX crimp fittings and valves. I want to say a huge thank you for joining us today, and we're very excited to get into this. I'm Risa Bedard, the Marketing Supervisor here at Beauchard Industries, and today I'm joined by Steve Hudson, our Quality Assurance Manager, and Paul Erb, our Research and Development Manager. They will help me answer your questions at the end of the webinar. During the presentation, feel free to type out any questions that you have. We'll do our best to answer all questions. We'll do our best to answer all questions at the end of the presentation. And if there are any questions that we can't get to, we'll reach out at the end of the webinar. If you want to type out a question, look for the sidebar on the right-hand side of your screen, then click on the button that looks like an arrow in a box. This will open a menu with a question box that shows that's shown on the slide. You can type out your questions there and we'll be able to see them. Please note the slide number if you're referencing a specific slide. They will be displayed on the bottom left-hand corner. In today's webinar, we are going to start with the PEX crimp options that are available before covering our stainless steel PEX crimp options. Then we will look at our QA practices, go over some helpful information, and answer your questions. Let's get started. PEX fittings continue to grow in popularity, so before we dive into our fittings, I want to take a look at what's on the market. On the market, you'll find poly and brass PEX fittings. In addition to that, Beauchard Industries is offering stainless steel PEX crimp fittings and valves as a superior option for your PEX installation. As you may know, we started receiving shipments of the new fittings and valves. We're very excited about them, so let's dive in and learn more. Beauchard Industries is first to the market to offer full stainless steel PEX crimp fittings that are CUPC certified to NSF ANSI 61 and 372. This ensures that they do not contain lead or other toxins, making them safe for potable water. The chemical com compatibility and superior corrosion resistance of these 304 stainless steel fittings make them suitable for plumbing, hydronic heating, and a wide range of specialized applications. Our fittings have a temperature rating up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and a pressure rating of 200 PSI. Our valves have a temperature rating of negative 40 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit and a pressure rating of 600 PSI CWP. CWP stands for pulled working pressure, an indicator of an indication of the pressure rating of valves at a temperature range of up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Although the ratings may vary between the valves and fittings, the limiting factor for both system pressure, system pressure and temperature will be the rating of the PEX pipe. Be sure to stay within the pipe manufacturer's published rating. Two methods are used to manufacture our stainless steel PEX crimp fittings. The T's, couplings, male and female adapters, plugs, and drop your elbows are made through the investment cast process, while the elbows are formed from tube. We offer all of these fittings in sizes half, three quarter, and one inch, as well as reducing T's that includes a three eighth inch branch. Along with our regular couplings, we have transition couplings available. This transition coupling is for polybutylene pipe and comes as a kit with the copper crimp rings that are needed for the installation. As shown in the picture, the rings are color coded to ensure the correct ring is used for the correct side. The black ring is for the polybutylene pipe and the copper ring is for the PEX pipe. When we have written a blog specifically covering these couplings. If you would like more information, you can find it at blog.boshart.com. In addition to our fittings, Boshart Industries offers ball valves to complete your PEX system installation. These valves are available in half, three quarter, and one inch sizes. This slide gives a full breakdown of all the components that make up the ball valves, as well as the materials they are made from. 
the body, handle, and all internal components that come into contact with water are made from stainless steel. These stainless steel PEX ball valves have a blowout proof stem. This means that the stem is inserted from the inside of the valve body and has a larger flange at the bottom than the hole in the valve body. Therefore, it is impossible for the system pressure to blow out the stem. PEX pipe is fastened to, PEX fit, to these PEX fittings and valves by using one of two options. Beauchard Industries offers both copper crimp rings and stainless steel pinch clamps for fastening the pipe to the fittings. Each system uses a special tool to create a watertight seal. Both of these fastening options work with ASTM F1807 metal fittings, such as stainless and brass, as well as ASTM F2159 poly fittings. Stainless steel has quickly gained popularity for its cor high corrosion resistance, making it suitable for all applications. 304 grade stainless steel has a set tolerance range for each of the elements in the alloy's composition, making it consistent from one supplier to the next. This chart shows the chemical composition as per the Nickel Development Institute Handbook Table 8. Brass is cheaper, however, no lead brass, which is acceptable for potable water, is becoming similar in price to stainless steel. Stainless steel does not contain zinc and therefore is not susceptible to desincification like brass. Desincification removes zinc from the brass alloy from the brass fitting, leaving behind a porous, copper-rich structure that has little mechanical strength. The fitting or valve may exhibit water weeping through the fitting or valve body. Brass alloys that have a zinc content of over 15% are susceptible to this and referred to as yellow brass alloys. Conditions that cause desincification and the rate of it can vary depending on a wide range of water quality factors and are often related to specific regions of the country. Also, the quality and properties of brass can differ between suppliers depending on the alloy selected. Stainless steel is stronger and more durable than brass and poly. We conducted a bending stress test on all three materials to compare their durability. The photo, these photos show the damage that, to the different materials when subjected to a forced load in a tensile testing machine. The stainless steel and poly bent but did not break, whereas the brass fitting broke. As you can see, the stainless steel elbow reached 240 pounds force, significantly more than the brass and poly. The stainless steel elbow is formed from tube, as mentioned earlier, creating a sweep bend with which has less friction loss. Brass elbows have a sharp 90 degree corner that creates more friction as fluid makes the turn. Poly fittings manufactured to ASTM F2159 have a reduced bore due to requiring a thicker wall for strength. 3 8 and half inch poly fittings require a wall that is two times thicker than metal fittings while the three quarter and one inch poly fittings are over two and a half times thicker. The heavier wall reduces the flow passage and in turn increases friction loss. You will realize better flow in your system when using 304 stainless steel PEX fittings. Typical warranty on PEX fittings ranges up to 25 years. Beauchard stainless steel PEX crimp fittings have a 30 year warranty. When used and installed correctly, stainless steel PEX fittings have a very long life. Just like all of our products, quality assurance is very important. Let's take a look at our QA practices that have been put into place to ensure the ongoing quality of our stainless steel PEX crimp fittings and valves. There are inspections that are done for the stainless steel PEX crimp fittings including scanning the barcodes, a go-no-go -go test, and verifying the material, material using an alloy analyzer. When the product arrives, the QA inspector will scan a sample of master, barcode, master case barcodes, as well as a sample of bags inside to make sure all the barcodes scan. The next thing they will do is a go-no-go -go test to ensure that the barbs meet the ASTM standard they are manufactured to. 
this test uses a gauge with two holes on opposite sides to test the OD of the barbs. Steve is demonstrating this in the pictures. On the go side, the fitting slides all the way in, ensuring that the OD is not too big. On the no-go side, the fitting does not fit into the hole, indicating that the OD is not too small. If the fitting does not enter the go side or enters the no-go side, the barbs do not meet the ASTM standard. The final item on the inspection checklist is to check the alloy to ensure that it is 304 stainless steel. Once the scan is complete, the screen will indicate if it is within the threshold or not. In this case, you can see that it is indeed 304 stainless steel. Just before we get to your questions, we want to provide some helpful information. Fittings are packed in bags as shown on the left and boxes as shown on the right. All of our stainless steel PEX crimp fittings need to be ordered in bag quantities of 25. The ball valves can be ordered individually. Check out our website or catalog to get a full listing of all the box quantities. The team has done a fantastic job putting together instructions for installing and removing crimp rings and pinch clamps. When removed correctly and the fitting is in good shape, it can be reused. Check out the blogs on BoshartU at blog.boshart.com for the step-by-step -step processes. We have put together numerous materials to help promote our premium stainless steel PEX crimp fittings and valves. These include counter displays, blogs, catalog pages, and cell sheets. Our website has the most up-to-date information, including a page dedicated to the stainless steel PEX fittings. The website has our catalog pages and technical sheets available for download. We will now take some time to answer your questions. And I can see here that we've had a couple come in during the presentation, so we'll get started with those. Okay, this is Steve here. Um, a question came in, it said on slide seven, it had NSF ANSI 61 and 372 listed. What is the difference? NSF ANSI 61 is a performance-based standard that evaluates the amount of contaminants that leach from the product into drinking water. Whereas NSF ANSI 372 is a test for lead content only. A maximum weighted lead content requirement is 0.25%. Uh, Hello, uh, it's Paul here. Um, got a question. Uh, on slide number nine, you mentioned the fittings and valves are made from investment castings with exception of the sweep elbows. What is an, an investment casting? Uh, I'll give you the, the short answer here. Uh, an investment casting is also referred to as a lost wax casting. Uh, the casting is molded in a shell made of ceramic. The ceramic shell is formed by dipping a wax pattern in the shape of the fitting into a plaster solution, drying, re-dipping. Uh, this is repeated several times. Then the wax pattern is removed by melting out the wax in a furnace, leaving a hollow shell. Then molten stainless steel is poured into the empty shell to create the casting. Investment casting produces smooth, precise casting, minimizing material waste and reducing machining costs. The long sweep bend flow channel in the 90 elbows is more suited for cold forming of tube in order to ensure an equal wall thick thickness from end to end while allowing for a smooth bend and for lower friction loss. So that is the end of today's presentation. Um, we thank you again so much for joining. It means a lot that you guys join us. Um, visit our Beauchart U blog where we offer free educational content. Content. It's a great way to learn about our products and be sure to subscribe to receive new content. Stay connected with us by following Beauchart Industries on Instagram, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Thank you again for joining us today. Check out our website, boshart.com, to learn more about our products. Enjoy the rest of your day.